and welcome to Rome. I hope you're having an inspiring day. If you caught my last vlog, we have just trained from Puglia to Rome. We made it. We got dropped off at Rome Termini and we're staying in a hotel Airbnb that's just across the street from it, across from the theater. It looks like quite the Roman... Look, I'm Italian. <laughs> I have Italian hair. Italian the weather guy. here is super hot. It's about 8 o'clock now. The sun is still shining, but I don't think we're going to have very much time to do anything else besides get dinner. So we're going to head out to do that. Our friends Didier and Andrew and Vic and Peter are all here in Rome. So it's likely we're going to do stuff together. We've got a few points of destination on our map, but we're going to try to take it easy and live. I think they call it Dolce Far Niente, which is the basically art the art of doing nothing. But we're going to do stuff. Quick little tour of Dave picking his nose. This is our little Airbnb room set up here. I've pretty much all unpacked. There's the the curtains there and the view is actually quite quite nice. This place cost us about $150 Canadian per night, but it's not bad. It's a little small, but it's got all the places for all the goods. Not wearing anything all too exciting right now, just this little black stretchy bodycon dress because it is super hot in Rome right now so I just want to be comfortable and found a restaurant on the fork that has 50% off so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Head it out for some first impressions of Rome. The long way. We'll get there even if it takes all night We'll talk until the morning Don't tell Good morning. It is currently 5.30 in the morning. We woke up. It's already sunrise. The light comes out so quick here, but we are headed out to try to get to the Trevi Fountain before the crowds. Classic, old school, Instagrammer style functioning. I haven't done this in a long time since the Eiffel Tower in Paris, so I'm a little out of practice, but hopefully we get the fountain without crowds. <laughs> <laughs> we all woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning. We went to sleep at like 12 or 1, so boy, we basically just had naps. It's like, where's Waldo? Yeah, I'm watching. Just got back from the Trevi Fountain, had a few coffees, so feeling good, and little outfit change because we are headed out to go shopping. Always one of our first stops whenever we travel, just because you never know what you're going to find or what they're end up what they will end up finding for you if you go there early. So, gonna go meet up with Didier and Vic and off to the shops. Let's go spend our hard earned money. Cute, cute. We are thinking of matching in our Roman souvenirs because Fendi's from Rome. <laughs> it's a souvenir. <laughs> That's the excuse. But also I feel like this could be worn underneath like a skirt or pants as kind of like a bodysuit. So I feel like that would be cute outside of just being a bathing suit. Spin around, show us a twirl. I like it. Like I like it because I'm getting it. I think it's a look. You can wear it many different ways. <laughs> How are you holding up? Shopping day. I'm ready for my coffee too. So it has been a successful day of shopping. Very successful. Very successful. <laughs> Except for for Andrew. Andrew didn't find anything he loved. That's okay. Well, I did find one bag that I loved in the beginning. From Loewe, but yeah, we just but didn't I get it to yet. Wait and see all the other stores first. Right, right. Good theory. While we were at Bottega Veneta, 
we were talking about cannolis and the lovely sales associate Alessia recommended a couple of places that she really likes. So we're actually at one of the pizzerias here in Rome, just around the corner from the store. What's that? What's that? It's like The place is super cute and we're hiding inside because to be quite honest, it is so hot outside. Day two in Roma and it is a very special day because it is actually Dave's birthday. So we're spending the day taking it easy, doing basically whatever he wants to do. It is so beautiful in Rome. I feel like it's been blue skies and super hot every single day. Just keep in mind if you do come to Rome in the summertime. And the streets are really busy. A lot busier than I would have expected. I feel like it's even busier than Paris. And this isn't even high, high season. Here is the outfit for the day. Nothing all that new. Little crop top from Princess Polly that I got a long time ago. Little black slip skirt. Loewe basket bag. Probably some slides and that's it. Birthday boy. <laughs> Oh, look how beautiful that is. So on Instagram, there's this famous artist that went kind of viral. He's not from Instagram. No, he's an actual artist that a sculptor. We a sculptor that we discovered, or Dave discovered on Instagram, that created this really gorgeous, really moving sculpture. And we're headed there to see if we can get in to see the sculpture. It's in this place called Palazzo Bonaparte. Made our way to a patio and found these two. It is a rooftop patio <laughs> here in Rome. So pretty. Day three, I believe, in Rome. We had a little bit of a later morning just because we stayed out late yesterday night for Dave's birthday. I think he had a really good time. But this is the outfit. We are heading to the shopping area and just wearing a little black dress. Classic with a classic white oversized Oxford. Got this one recently from Koss from the men's department. New little Chanel vanity that I did an unboxing for, so stay tuned for that. But got this the other day while shopping. And a very classic outfit, I think, but very easy for day three in Rome.
So our friends Diddy and Andrew had come and they had sat down, but because nobody was serving them, they went inside to get ice cream. And we learned that even if they have ice cream and there are literally two empty seats beside us, they can't sit. If you have a cone, you're relegated over there. And to sit here, even though they're empty, you have to buy one of these things. So they literally would have had to stand over there by themselves while we were here eating. So they just left, but it's kind of sad. Would have wished they were here. Back at the hotel and doing some outfit planning to figure out what I'm gonna shoot when. It's kind of behind the scenes. I feel like if you don't do this, you end up just getting lost and confused about what you're creating and what you're shooting, so. Changed the outfit for a little evening stroll, photo taking, slash dinner. Just wearing that same oversized white, just with like a little set inside, obviously, so not completely naked, because this is very short. A little vest, got these both at cost recently. Loewe bag, probably just some slides, and that's the look. But look at this sexy man. Oh, one more button. One more button. Dave got a new shirt recently, if you can call it that, because it's got barely any material on it. <laughs> it's basically a mesh shirt, but it looks very good, very fashion. So much fun. <laughs> nice bum, where you're from. Get down, I get down. <laughs> Hello from our last day here in Rome. We woke up a little late again. Honestly, I've been really liking sleeping in. I feel like with all this traveling, you really have to just take care of your body and listen to your body. And for us, it meant just sleeping more. But we are headed out for the day. This is the outfit, just a cute little Princess Polly dress. Probably my favorite silhouette from them. I think I have three different prints in this dress color. Super comfortable and we are headed out to explore some more and maybe meet up with our friends Vic and Peter. Wow, Dave, you are looking real colorful today. So, we have caught up, met up with these guys, and Vic had found this place that had really good reviews it's called Tonarella. But if you remember, yesterday we went to Tonarella, which is that infamous place that we waited an hour and a half in line for. Well, guess what? It's the exact same menu. Like three hours. It's like golden three hours. It's amazing. There's also a marathon happening here in Rome. I believe it's going to be it's today and days, tomorrow. So Last evening. <laughs> buona sera. Buona sera. <laughs> favorite part about Rome? The wine. Just wait. wait until Peter's had some more drinks. Least favorite part about Rome? The shitty service. Wait, what did you say first? What did you say? The wine is a favorite part of Rome? Okay, <laughs> favorite part of Rome? Scooters? Scooters? The least favorite part about Rome? Tourists. <laughs> Just the pole? Favorite part about Rome? The architecture. 
Uh, Least favorite part about Rome. Everything else. <laughs> favorite part about Rome. Favorite part about Rome. The architecture and the actual city. We use. We use. We use. Wow. Take four. So okay, Melissa, what is your there. favorite part about Rome? Minus David, like in the background annotating. The entire city okay. and history okay. of the city. Okay. And then, what is your least favorite part about Rome? Some of its people. Just that some? Have, that have been just rude. Some. <laughs> just some? Just some? Just some? A lot yeah. of people have been rude. <laughs> and it wasn't expected, so... It's Correction, good. we've had some really great experiences oh. here Correction. in Rome. It's just that we've also had some poor experiences, some really bad service, and a few racial comments, but other than that, it's been wonderful. We are all packed up and checked out to head to our next destination. So we are just headed to the train station now. We purposely chose a place that's only about five minutes, five to seven minute walk to the train station. So hopefully we get there on time. I mean, we have an hour to get there. So the train to Florence is about an hour and a half. So hopefully it's nice and smooth, but we'll catch you in Florence. Look who else is on our train. 